Would you consider yourself to be a grateful person? Or do you find it difficult to express gratitude and thanks to people? Depending on our personality types and the way we were raised, expressing intimate and thankful thoughts can either come naturally or be outside our comfort zone. The Apostle Paul found a way to express his heart to the people he loved and was very grateful to them. And writing to the Philippian church, he wrote in Philippians 1 through 4, I thank my God every time I remember you and all my prayers for all of you. I always pray with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day into now. It was important to Paul to say thank you. To the church in Thessalonica, he wrote, Dear brothers and sisters, we can't help but thank God for you because your faith is flourishing and your love for one another is growing. To the Corinthians, he wrote, I always thank my God for you and for the gracious gifts he's given you now that you belong to Christ Jesus. To the Romans, he wrote, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for all of you because your faith is being reported all over the world. So in your life, do you make it a habit to express to the people who are important to you or in a relationship with you that they are loved and appreciated? The easiest thing in life to do is to complain. Isn't it? It's so easy to find fault. We can point out the deficiencies in people's lives so easily. We need to be careful that we don't slip into a lifestyle or a habit of that. Paul wrote to the Ephesians in chapter 4, verse 29, Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. So today, words of respect, love, appreciation, gratitude, and concern are powerful and wise. Today, ask God to help you to be more gracious, grateful, more expressive in your gratitude. Ask him to help you to criticize and complain less and to build up and encourage more. Let people know that they bring value to your lives. Here's a thought for today. Build up, don't tear down. That's good. Here's a prayer for today. God, help me to tear down less and to build up more. God bless you.